and A. I forget which number I'm on. It could be number four. I think it's number four. Not too sure. I make a bunch of these and the different evening, different date. This is number four, and this is for seven videos for Miss Vital Survival. Survival? Yeah, Vital Survival. Now, we did cover the LARP garden in the last one. So please do not make a LARP garden. Now those Antifa protesters, God, I don't know what the, you know, black owned garden or I don't know what the hell they're growing, but they're not going to survive a harsh winter or anything or the summer. <coughs> okay, it's a LARP garden. And L-A-R-P, a LARP garden. Okay, a lot of fantasy players do it. All they're doing is making a fantasy garden, running around. Oh, I need something to grow. No. Okay, hard truth. Hell no. Okay. We're These are the four deadly sins of every prepper I know and a few wannabe survivalists. That's procrastination. They talk a good game. And they'll say they'll do it. All they do is buy one thing, like a lot of guns, a lot of body armor, or worse, they buy a lot of cami. So I tell a lot of people, you have to be careful with it. Uh, avoidance. They avoid the issue. Okay. The truth is staring in the face. Yeah, like I know a few people and they sprout other weird things, fine, you could die or you're in hell. I don't care. My job is to survive and take care of my family. So you can go to hell. Okay? Number three, perfectionism. They'll repeat the same mistake over and over until they get it perfect. Okay? We could see you making fires, but what else are you doing other than making fires, knives, and stuff? Okay, are you doing something that will A, get you water or store water, B, to have food, some kind of security, not guns, and something reasonable with your community, like a food bank, and educating people and showing them steps? Okay. That's number three. Number four, overanalyzing the problem. Okay, I have a young man. I can't do the ferro rod and the six things. Fine. Get a road flare and get a pint of gas. Pour it on each little pile. Torch it with the road flare. Uncle Al doesn't overthink things. Get the job done. Any means possible. You want six fires? You do it the Uncle Alan way. Don't overanalyze it. Don't overthink it. If you can't do it with a ferro rod, and you can't do it with flint and steel, and if you can't do it with a fire plow, or worse, you can't you if you goof up on one of these, don't go into prepping. I mean, I'm absolutely tired of a lot of people have no idea what they're doing, overanalyzing things, and they make it worse. Okay? Now, another part of it that, oh, I used to check out Camp Patton Family Compound. We did a live stream, and we talked about this. Sorry, God, I couldn't make it the last one because I'm very tired and very sick, and I have more dead people on me. And I'm going to have a couple more dead people by next week. Yeah, if anybody tells me that COVID-19 is a myth, I'm going to grab them by the neck, drag them to our county trailer, which holds about 40 dead bodies, and I'm going to put you in there and close the door. And I'll wait and listen and hear you. It's dark and I'm full of dead people with red dragons. Fine. I don't care. You deserve it. Okay, this week in my little area, agriculture community, we had 94 deaths. So everybody else, go fuck yourself. Okay. 
Yeah. They look nice and don't play Batman with the boondocks. Now, there's a few things I like and there's a few things I don't recommend. And you see this trail camera? That's great if you have a farm or a little area for cows. You could put one up and that will hook up spy point link cellular trail camera so it'll fit on your phone and cost you less than a hundred bucks okay everybody's doing eyeing pistols all this stuff okay if you don't have the skill and you're going ooh ah e playing batman and the boondocks stop it all right uncle Alan's tired and uncle Alan is really sick so please stop your stupidity. Thank you. Catch you later. I'll give you more tips later on. Remember, you can't buy your way out with gadgets. You consume products. Can't do it. You cannot be Batman in the boondocks. Pound your chest. I could do all of this. Fine. I don't really care. That's good for you. Do you want me to give you a little gold star on your little wagon? Fine. Uncle Alan's giving you the truth, all right? I don't follow the rules. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm capable of, okay? This is you, duh, okay? And then you tactical guys. If you're caught out there dressed in camis, you better have a good excuse like it's deer season or it's turkey season because if it's a military type cami, that's a uniform of another nation. You could get shot very easily and they won't ask you questions. Because if you're wearing a uniform of another country, even an old pattern, you're considered an insurgent enemy agent. So think about that. Catch you later, folks.